Oh, what are we doing? We're doing OCAM. Oh, You're yes. <laughs> hey, everybody, this is not a spring chicken. I am so wound up and excited. And it could be because, of course, the Christmas is campaign. Okay, you will not believe. Okay, so we have people that want to know more about what they can do to go ahead and support and join. So we're going to do like a sheet because it's like it's starting. I can start, it's starting to build a wave because, you know, people, okay, want the Christmas spirit to be alive. And, of course, otherwise, gas prices still continue to be high. They have dropped, but not to the levels that they were talking about. I think two cents. I'll give you my two cents. Does not count quite the same. Anyway, for now, we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. <laughs> how, how do you know I'm all wound up? I forgot to start on the video. I know. Gee, she's all wound up, folks, because we just got another thing on another major new site. So. Okay. And it's all over for the Republicans. Okay. We've done this once before. But, so, <laughs> you know, and, 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 you know, Herbie Daddy says that here's it over because it's, it's because you, they're telling people not to trust any of the math that says that Mitt Romney is surging ahead everywhere. I mean, okay, um, the, the same people that said, believe us when we tell you that unemployment has went down to a figure that needs to get Obama reelected. Don't believe any of the people that their math says that Obama is now falling behind. And they said that, the, but here's the thing is, virtually everybody in the right and left agreed to one thing. The reason why, if the math was right, which they said is totally wrong, would be because everybody is in a Bill Maher mode. Well, oh my God, the man can't do anything without a teleprompter. I mean, okay, okay. Uh, I just got it from him. The man that does worship the very ground the president works on, Bill O'Reilly, does say he's a very smart man. He doesn't need a teleprompter, to which we respond, well, I know he can't work without a teleprompter. Well, he's done two interviews with me. Oh, you submitted the questions to him in advance so he knew what to... And you give him softball questions? I really give him the heart. No, he didn't. It was and, and he still needed a teleprompter. And he still needed a teleprompter. So. And California gasoline prices is set to plunge as spike ends. The spike, okay, they're not set to plunge. I mean, we just did a story on the fact that no. they have... Oh, I love this. Is set to plunge. It means it hasn't plunged yet. No, it's not. They have not. They have been. The words are, the prices of gas have dramatically fell since the governor of the state of California intervened. Which basically the gas does. It takes a week to start the, the stuff growing. So not nothing. That, that, okay, okay. Herbie Daddy has something very important to say to people. Listen, to Herbie Daddy. Gas prices may dramatically go up. They do not dramatically go down because they're paying a higher price for the gas that's currently coming to the stations, which means you're never going to get the gas for less than what they're paying. And as long as they're paying five bucks a gallon, you're going to have gas at five dollars a gallon. And Obama tobaccos, a time to get almost obsessive. No, he basically, uh, 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 what I'm amazed that you have so many people that are stupid in the Republican Party. Okay. The Republican Party was founded in Illinois, for Christ's sake. They're the ones that created all this stuff that Obama is doing, and there's nobody working in the Republican Party that knows how to handle Chicago politics. Basically, if you throw mud, I throw mud. You throw manure, I throw manure. And the person that does the most ends up the winner. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and mom who glued kids' hands to wall faces a life term. Yeah, because that's just really stupid. But then again, people do stupid things. You have to understand, in the old world, how they teach you not to play with fire. Basically, they burn your fingers. They used to do things like that, so then you would know what fire was like. Well, right? me. My mommy was old world. My, my mother, you were playing with mashing. So you I know. wonder if that kid was playing with glue. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Obama honors Cesar Chavez at the monument. Yeah, but I wonder why he did it where he did it instead of California where he actually was taking all the stuff. They Like they did it in um, in Florida. What, you know, I think it's because Obama needs, I think I love this one. They've uh, officially, as of yesterday, put, oh, put Florida and Pennsylvania in the Republican camp because they, they're no longer going to be doing polling data in them because uh, I said Obama 
of a, all the trends has lost two of the major states that he needs to win. He, they, they're trying to figure out how Obama can win the election now with the states, one state after another being taken off the map. And Vandersloot's lawyer denies he got a woman pregnant in prison. Well, yeah, because it was, they're not supposed to have. What was is Vandersloot's father was a magistrate or something uh, in Holland, and basically they're, na they're arranging things to get his son out of trouble. Mm -hmm. Well, that is what you would do if you were his father. Well, yeah, well, they delayed the Natalie Holloway thing until it was too late to really... I mean, he should have been, his father should have had him arrested, but his father delayed, 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 and then he resigned. And that's when the investigation took, started taking place. Which means everything was way too old. Yeah, they got rid of all the, all the evidence that had been contaminated, and you couldn't do any conviction then. And meningitis links steroid shots given to 13,000 U.S. patients. I know, I mean, basically, uh, I have a tendency to believe that people are trying to ban the use of steroids and the way you ban to get the use of steroids banned for any purpose is to make certain that you have contaminated steroids. Mm -hmm. And Obama camp knocks Romney's chest pounding foreign policy. Uh, well, because here's the thing is, they got a congressional hearing right now where the people on the right and the left are pissed off about what happened in Libya. Because they do know, the State Department said yes, he asked for more help. He told people, this is the big words, he told people that he was getting threats from Al-Qaeda, whom the President of the United States were, is no longer to be worried about. So since he told them, and they said that only, only, there's only two people that could have stopped it, the request, that would have been Hillary Clinton or, or Barack Obama. Since Hillary Clinton, I don't think, would have done it, it means Obama didn't want, he wanted to look like he, uh, he believed in the Muslims and all of this, so he probably denied the request for security. But they're also pointing out the fact, one of the Democrats this morning in the hearing said, um, said, we knew there was an ambassador in trouble. Where the hell was the Marines? Mm -hmm. Why were they not sent into Libya immediately? Because he asked the, he'd asked the State Department, do you know the ambassador was dead when we got that re information? And the guy said, well, no. And he said, I'm going to ask you again. Where? And he didn't say exactly hell this time. It was like, but we blankly blank Marines. Mm -hmm. And he said, well, there was obviously a mistake made. And he said, yeah. Mm -hmm. the, the Democrats are just as pissed as the Republicans on this because an American ambassador got killed and, you know, butchered and all that other stuff. They got video of all the That's stuff going bad. on. And, you know, and that they're basically it's a campaign thing that they're using in the Middle East against the United States that we will not protect our people. That's really bad. And call me Betty, Paul Ryan's mom, stops for her son in Florida. Oh, yeah, because she's a senior citizen. And they're, okay, they're, they're, they're works the simple folk. Nothing that the Republicans have planned affects anybody over the age of 55, for Christ's sake. That's basically half of the country is over 55, which means it will not affect you. It only affects the people under that are still working. So, I mean, the system is busted. They all admit it's busted, but, but Obamacare is going to save it. And deadly meningitis outbreak increases to 91 cases. Yep, they're, they're basically dying right and left, folks. And police, students shoot self at Oklahoma Junior High. Yeah, the people are not buying. <laughs> basically, the family wants to know what, 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 what going on. Generally when people shoot them, uh, kill themselves, there's most of the time they don't actually kill themselves. And California man behind anti-Muslim film jailed over probation. Yeah, well they're trying to get, uh, they think he basically filed a charge against the Obama administration with the United Nations Human Rights Division saying that he is a political prisoner now because he said something that the Obama administration politically didn't approve of, so they jailed him for the per problem. And U.S. sues Wells Fargo in mortgage fraud case. Oh yeah, and guess what happened with all the stocks in the banks today? They're just tanking massively. Mm. I mean, th this man, he, has, uh, he, he hates the banks, he wants to destroy the banks, and he needs the banks in order to stay in existence, in order to get his butt out of trouble, and he hates them. Mm. Prostitution arrest, Rock of Maine, a tourist town. Yeah, you know, uh, the, uh, it, 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 basically they go where the money is. <laughs> California's dueling tax hikes, nightmare ahead. Well, because, okay, 
One of the tax heights is permanent, the other tax height isn't permanent. The permanent one brings in more money, but the problem is, is that the math is faulty on both of them. They expect, okay, uh, we're watching a thing on, on, the, on, the, on the financials today, hell, they're having to raise taxes in countries to make up for the shortfall of the ta that the taxes didn't bring in, so they're going to raise taxes to increase the tax revenue. This is exactly what they're doing in California. Jerry Brown figures, well, these additional taxes will bring in enough money to balance the budget. No, that's that depend, that based upon the erroneous fact that the people are going to stay here. Mm -hmm. They tend to leave. They go elsewhere. And you have to have business. Okay, this California is the most anti-government, anti-business state in the United States. And the more legislation they put on businesses, the more tax hikes, the more rules, the more they leave, and the less revenue you get in. So they said there's no way on earth that he's going to bring in the revenue that he said he's going to with the tax hike. You know, all you do is you just destroy more business. And the real unemployment rate is still really lousy. Yeah, they said the real unemployment rate is... Uh, okay, I read the thing from like the, the, the Heritage Institute, who really is nonpartisan, how they got to their figures said they, uh, the figures that they got, they can legitimately get to, but the unfortunate problem is they legitimately get to them by removing people from the workforce. That's how you get the figures, is you just dump people that don't have a job, which that, it, they're called unemployed. <laughs> Anna Monty Bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. That even though you know you can't change the way things are, you can always hope that it will happen anyway.